Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to the Paper Crafting YouTubers Hop for May. And today's theme is Schools Out for the Summer. And this is the photo, well, the photos <laughs> that I am going to be scrapping. And they are my of my grandson. And I have several stencils there that I plan to be using on my background. I'm not showing the die there, but that's the embossing folder. And it's a Tim Holtz one. It comes with a die and an embossing folder. Those are the ones I'm going to use for my title. And I'm going to forget all about those wishing bubbles, as they call them. And then um, I had, and I forgot about the robots too. How can I forget them? <laughs> but I did. I'm laying that there so I can kind of gauge where to put my mixed media. But, uh, not all of it's going to show anyway. I am using, uh, it is peeled paint. <laughs> I use some peeled paint with the packaging technique. And then I have this die in. It's by Paper Rose. And I'm going to put it on there. And you can see a little bit of it through the greenery. At least I can. But it don't show up a whole lot. But then I wasn't planning on it to. This is a Bubbles die. And I am using, um bundled sage for it so I wanted them lighter and that's well other than a speckled day gets the lightest one I have so I am putting it on there and I'm actually looking at the stencil and picking which bubbles I want some of them are closer together and some of them go in one direction some the other direction so I'm picking and choosing which ones to use I plan on using some gears on my layout I will forget all but one. Yeah, I put it on there and then I don't put any more until I'm editing the video. And I think, oh man, I was wanting some gears on there. So I did go back and put some on and take the photos again. So they will be in the photos at the end. Um, and that was a Gina Marie stencil. And this one is a Tim Holtz one called Faded Dots. And I am using um, Abandoned Coral with it. And putting just a little bit here and there because they're tiny dots and um, they don't make much color in any of the places that I put. But I wanted that color and that uh, card you seen a while ago, I wanted it too because my grandson's shirt has a little bit of that color. So I wanted to make sure I brought it out because pretty much everything else is brown and the shades thereof and green. So I have one little accent color here. I had two branding strips and then a scrap, so I'm going to use them, and then I'm going to put my photo on here. You would not believe how horrible it was trying to make my mind up for this layout. I changed the background paper five times, and I changed in my head how I wanted to do the layout. I don't know how many times. I mean, I had like a triangle thing with three clusters. I had the picture in the middle and a cluster at the top and the bottom. I had uh, just one cluster and one up in the right hand corner with the photo, the big one, and down towards the bottom. And I finally decided on this and it's going to be uh, the photos, well, a little off center, not perfectly centered because I wanted my cluster on the left to be bigger and my cluster on the right. And so it's going to be a little off. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of layering on there. I have that layering down at the bottom of the photo. And I'm just going to put a little bit with the rest of it. But that scrap was in there. And this paper and everything is from 49 and Market. It is the Naturalist, uh, Curator's Meadow, Hike More, I think. Yeah, Hike More. Yes, I, I cut some stuff out of there. So there are several different collections here. But it's all 49 and Market, and it's all the outdoor stuff. I love their outdoor stuff. If y'all haven't noticed, I do. Um, I am, let's see, what am I doing? Oh, I'm putting my title on here, and it's Memory Box, and their wood grain. And I just did the word view with it. Now, you know, when the... Uh, 
whole theme for the month came up, you know, with the school out thing. I thought of this picture and I thought, yeah, going wild when school gets out because he's zip lining. And so I thought, uh, school's out, time to go wild. Uh, several different titles automatically. But when I actually got down to making the layout and having a hard time making up my mind on literally everything, I decided to go with a title I had planned for one of the zip lining ones. And it is Enjoy the Journey and the View because this was. Well, if you look at the woods, you can tell it's a brand new zip line at uh, Branson. And they just cut enough out of the woods for the path to each one of the, I guess you would call them takeoff stands. I don't know. I don't remember if they called it something or not, but uh, they just cleared enough for all the zip lining thing. And when I was making the layout, I thought, I was wondering if it started growing back up again and they cleared it out again or if they let it grow up some or what. Because mine's going to be overgrown, just so you all know. I'm going to have plenty of greenery on here. But it was a beautiful place. And we got, well, my daughter got a good deal. She paid for all the tickets. And if you did all seven, you were considered an extreme zip liner. So, of course, we did all the seven. My daughter didn't join in, and the little kids didn't join in, but she paid for us to go because it was something I always wanted to do and could not talk anybody into doing it with me. So, she talked them into doing it in advance, and my grandsons went. Landon was the only one that was really excited about it. The other two boys stuck right with me. And we walked slower where Landon ran from one to the next because he couldn't wait for the next one. But uh, we walked slower. <laughs> well, I walk slower and they are very good at walking with me and walking slower. But uh, we had a lot of fun, but seven zip lines. So it took us a little while. I am using that Tim Holtz uh, tree ring. And as I said, it's a die, a big die. And then it has... Um, an embossing folder to go with it. And of course, I ink it up. I usually use craft paper, but uh, sometimes I'll use a cream colored paper, but craft paper is what I use mostly. And what am I doing now? Oh, I am. I, I was going to put two or three different uh, pieces of paper on there. It said explore and discover. I was having a hard time making my mind up on that too. And I finally seen this one, and it says explore and discover. So I didn't have to have two different things. So I went ahead and added it. But it looks so tiny that I added a piece of the wood grain paper behind it. And then I used the Sizzix die with the uh, chevron arrow and put it on top of that. As you will see, I had a bunch, I mean a bunch of greenery. Um, cut out in advance and I put it in, that's an eight and a half by 11 plastic envelope and I like it in there because you can pull the paper out and then they're all right there. I went ahead and put some stuff in the back behind it like that grass but I think it's getting caught on there so I might take that out but anyway I had all this already cut and ink that I did it one night when I was watching TV and then I also made, well, I bought the die set oh, probably the end of summer. I wanted it in time for the fall, and I have not used it because I bought the Lakeside by Simple Stories, and it had that whole sheet of mushrooms. <laughs> and I just fussy cut instead of using these, but I had them already put together. And then those little flowers that you see, there are seven pieces to those tiny flowers. I dropped one in the floor and I panicked because I only had three done. And I wanted to use at least three on my layout. But I will find it and it will make it on my layout. But it is a Tim Holtz die set. And it's got a lot of multiple piece things. They're cut as one die like the flower is all on one die. And then you just 
cut them out. I, I used vanilla cardstock and then inked it instead of using several different colors because I thought that'd be a whole lot easier than cutting those little tiny dies out three and four times. But let's see where I'm at on this. But aren't they cute? I mean, they're they're just adorable. I wish they had three in there instead of two, but they only have two. But I got to thinking while I was putting the layout together, I could make one of the stems longer because it does have like a little ruffle thing around the neck of it, right up there at the top where the mushroom cap is at. And I thought, I could just put another piece right there and make it longer and you'd never be able to see it with that collar or whatever it is on top of there, the ruffle part. And then I could have one tall, one short, and one wide. But uh, um, uh, mushrooms don't have as many parts as the flower. It only had three parts. Um, I am adding, let's see, it's the pink fresh branch dye. And then I have that one that I got off of Amazon. It's that big leafy thing. I love that because you can cut it up or you can do like I did on here too and put the whole thing down in the background and it'll cover lots of places. I had recently cut a bunch of tall grass for a layout so they were in there and when I went to get the leaves out I thought oh my goodness I've got these tall grass too I think I'll use them also and I did ink everything in the pill paint but I also added some of the vintage photo here and there to add some browns to it. Even the green pieces, I added some of the browns to it. And beside him, him looking like he's kind of going wild because school's out, uh, he, we went on the vacation right when we did because he was in college and uh, he was taking a summer course. So he didn't have that much time off in between so the vacation got planned during his time off so that he could take his summer course and graduate earlier of course he had two associates degrees when he finished high school so he was already working towards getting done and actually going to work after college and the boys working there were all except for the owner we're all college boys and they were working there for the summer. So that was a pretty good job for them to have during the summer. Uh, I think I'm getting close to getting done. I'm adding some bits and pieces of the branches here and there and places that look like they could use just an extra leaf or two. And I'm using my bookworm by Mr. Hueys to sprinkle on here. Y'all are probably thinking it's never going to get empty, even after me spilling it twice now. I was very, very careful this time. I didn't tilt it trying to get some out of the bottom. I went ahead and tried to keep it straight. I didn't want it all over my hands and going to waste. I do love that color of green. I'm adding some jute. It's a brown. It shows the zip line on there, and it looks more black than it does brown. And I could have used black, but I thought the brown would go with the rest of my layout better. And so I just kind of intertwined it here and there on through the greenery. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And uh, I took, if I had been planning on having two photos, I would have had the smaller one as the full photo instead of the other way around because he was closer to you in it, but it made a good small photo. I went ahead and cut it down and used it. And then you've seen that, um, well, I covered most of it up, but <laughs> there's a strip with some pictures in it that I put over on the right. They have nothing to do with the photo. <laughs> they are some I cropped out of other photos and save the pieces planning on putting it on the little film strips but yeah they're just ones that got cropped out of other photos so I covered quite a bit of it up and it was because they didn't have anything to do with this layout or th these photos but if you leave a comment down there below I'll try to get back with you if you like the video and hit a thumbs up I'd appreciate it. 
And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. But don't forget, down there below, you will find all the links to everybody else that are doing the hop, the hop this month. And see what they created. Because anything goes every month. So I thought, well, I could go ahead and change my title. <laughs> have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Bye.